If you are looking for inspiration on helping others during the holiday season, we have the story for you. Gavin Teets is days away from becoming a teenager, but he sure has a grown up way of looking at life. WECT's Casey Cunningham is here to share Gavin's story tonight. Casey? John Fran, Gavin has fought since the age of eight despite facing another battle. Gavin is thinking about friends who are worse off than he is. He wants them to smile even when it hurts. Dressed in his suit and tie and meeting us right after a Christopher Columbus debate at school. The point I had to argue was he did not discover America. There's no debate that Gavin has more to think about than most 12 year olds. When I was in second grade, I was diagnosed with a brain tumor. But not just one tumor, two. And doctors said the tumor returned this past March. At first I was kind of like, I can't believe it came back, but then I just thought, God does everything for a reason. Gavin even had to learn to reuse the entire left side of his body after one surgery resulted in some paralysis. He's got his movement back and his motto. If I don't continue fighting that I could, I wouldn't get any better at anything. Gavin decided that instead of getting gifts for his 13th birthday, he wants family and friends to buy presents for sick children at Duke Children's Hospital. Gavin has spent a lot of time there. I was so proud of him. I was so proud that with everything that he has been through, all he wanted was to give back to others. And Gavin is still deep in the fight against his brain tumor. And while Jenny waits on a call from the neurologist, the future is unclear. He's my everything and I don't want him to have to suffer or go through any of this. It's There's definitely days where I think life is really not fair to him because he is such an incredible young man. And Gavin and doesn't care really about fair. It doesn't really matter what I get in life, it just matters if I can help other people. So you can help become a part of Gavin's birthday wish. You can drop off toys or donations at Myrtle Grove Christian, where Gavin's big celebration will be held, and that's between uh, 6 and 8 p.m. on Saturday. Reporting live in the studio, I'm Casey Cunningham, WECT News.